हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो आप लोग माई सेल्फ चेतन गर्ग आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक सीरीज इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट एंड क्वेश्चन सेकेंड ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर दैट इज फर्स्ट टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर वन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम जोमेट्री एंड द अदर वन इज फ्रॉम नंबर थ्योरी राइट Uh, and before starting the session let me just give you one information uh, that currently here at vidantu we are running pre rmo rmo and inmo batches those uh, people who have not appeared for pre rmo or unfortunately who have not cleared pre rmo exam they can simply visit our website olympia.vidantu.com here we have provided each and every information regarding the pre rmo batches right and those who have already cleared pre rmo or rmo exam uh, they just mail me their name their class contact number and address along with the proof that you have cleared pre rmo or rmo on this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com those who have cleared pre rmo we will simply enroll you to rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you to inmo batches all these batches are totally free of cost you do not need to pay even a single rupee to enroll in these batches right so let's start our session uh this is the first question of year 1994 and this is a question of uh, number theory right uh the question states that if a leaf is torn from a paperback novel the sum of the numbers on the remaining pages is 15000 right uh what are the page numbers on the torn leaf right okay so this question entirely depends on uh, one thing that how the numbering uh of the novel is there right let's say uh, this is the open novel right and uh, if the first page is there or if the first page number 1 first page is there right that entirely depends what is the numbering right because if uh, this is the process then if we uh, if we tear a leaf uh, then uh, the number will be like this k and k plus 1 right where k will be odd and k plus 1 will be even right if the numbering is this uh, is like this and whenever we uh, tear a leaf ha na then the uh, number will be again k and k plus 1 but here k will be even and k plus 1 will be odd right so that entirely depend ha uh, how the numbering is being done so let's consider all the process ha uh, na let's consider all these two cases right so let's assume there are uh, n pages okay uh, so sum of these pages will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on up to n um uh, that will be definitely greater than 15000 because um 15000 is the sum when a page is being is torn right so this is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 this is the total sum of the uh, pages without uh, tearing the leaf hana that should be greater than 15000 right so this is nothing but n into n plus 1 that will be greater than 30000 take okay. it यहाँ जस्ट मुझे एक वैल्यू अच्छी लगी थी इनकी देखो अब हमें एन फिगर आउट करना है ना कि वट कैन बी द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एन सो दैट एन इन टू एन प्लस वन दैट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन थर्टी थाउजेंड राइट दिस इज काइंड ऑफ अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर है ना काइंड ऑफ राइट एन इन टू एन प्लस वन दिस इज लाइक लेट से फोर्टी नाइन इंटू फिफ्टी दैट विल बी समथिंग दैट विल बी वेरी नियर टू फोर्टी नाइन स्क्वायर राइट सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट द अंडर रूट ऑफ दिस राइट सो दिस विल बी नथिंग बट हंड्रेड इंटू अंडर रूट थ्री which will be approximately 173 right so let's check uh, when n is equals to 173 now how we have decided for the value of 173 because under root of 3 is uh, uh, 1.732 approximately right so if n is 173 and then 173 into 174 right this i guess this approximately comes out to be 30102 which is clearly greater than 30000 right so uh, n uh, the value of n can be 173 right so the additional sum here is 102 right this sum should be uh, no, not exactly 102 n into n plus 1 upon 2 right so let's put n into n plus 1 upon 2 so we will divide this by 2 right so we will get 51 so 51 is the additional sum right and this is because of the torn leaf ana so let's say this is the scenario if this is the scenario then 2k plus 1 that will be 51 uh, this will imply this will imply what this will imply that k is nothing but 25 right so the torn uh, leaf has the numbers 25 and 26 right 
and this will happen only when the numbering will be like this right when the first page uh, that is this page uh, has the number one right so first odd number and then an even number right so 25 and 26 that could be the number on the torn leaf provided the numbering starts from here right now let's consider uh, more values let's say if n is 174 right Achha, what if n is 172 if you calculate the product of 172 into 173 that will be nothing but that will be less than 30,000 so n into 1 n equals to 172 is clearly rejected right so if we consider n equals to 174 what we will get we will get 174 into 175 right if you solve this thing this comes out to be 30 uh, 450 i guess yes 30450 right and uh, this is clearly greater than 30000 by 450 right right so the uh, torn leaf should have a sum of 450 upon 2 that is it has 225 sum 225 extra sum right and uh, again 2k plus 1 if we put 2k plus 1 to be equal to 225 we will get the value of k to be 112 right so if k is 112 then the torn leaf uh, then the torn pace have the numbers 112 and 113 is this possible yes this can be possible if if uh, the numbering will be done like this that is uh, if we uh, take the hard cover and the page number one is just uh, behind the front page the front cover of the book right generally this type of numbering doesn't happen right but yes if the numbering of the pages will be done like this then the answer will be 112 and 113 basically these will be the numbers on the uh, torn leaf if the numbering is done like this that is the uh, number one page is not exactly behind the hard cover of the book uh, then the answer will be 25 and 26 right now uh, let's consider what will happen if n is greater than n is equals to 175 if n is 175 then 175 into 176 this comes out to be 30800 right so additional sum will be 800 by 2 that is 400 and to make 400 uh 400 additional sum 400 will not be possible because the additional sum is 2k plus 1 and moreover uh, it should be an odd number right? because one number on a torn leaf will be an even number and the other will be an odd number so an even extra sum is not possible moreover this sum is exceeding the number of pages right if we say let's say the pages are 200 and 201 so so on leaf is 200 and 201 that will approximately give 401 sum right but we currently have 175 pages in our book so answer cannot be uh, we can, we need not to check the values uh, more than 175 right so the final answer will be the final answer can be two things 25 or 26 or it can be 112 and 113 that entirely depends how the numbering is being done right तो आई होप ये क्वेश्चन क्लियर होगा बस इसमें जो मुझे बहुत अच्छा एक चीज लगा था ये 15000 नंबर इन्होंने काफी अच्छा लिया था आरएमओ ने राइट बिकॉज़ यहां पर अभी हमें है ना हिट एंड ट्रायल की जरूरत नहीं थी बिकॉज़ वी कैन ओनली यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ अंडर रूट 3 राइट सो दैट वाज द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ईयर 1994 नाउ लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द क्वेश्चन सेकंड ऑफ ईयर 1994 सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकली फ्रॉम ज्योमेट्री राइट द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट इन अ ट्रायंगल एबीसी the in circle touches the sides bc ca and ab okay at d e and f right now if the radius of the in circle is 4 units and uh, if bd ce and af are uh, consecutive integers right so we need to find the value of uh, the sides of the triangles right so okay so let's first draw the figure let's say this is our triangle a b c right and the point of contacts are d e and f right the question states that bd ce and af are consecutive integers let's assume bd to be x then ce will be x plus 1 all right and then af will be x plus 2 although the figure does not uh, uh, does not justify that values because our this side seems to be greater than af anyways the figure is not up to the scale right so since uh, length of tangent from an external point is same so we can say that af will be equal to ae that is it is x plus 2 similarly ce will be equal to cd and that will be again x plus 1 right similarly you can say that bf will be nothing but x only right 
now we know the uh, formula of in radius you must be knowing this and uh, this is nothing but r equals to delta upon s where delta is the area of the triangle and s is the semi perimeter right so in our case uh, semi perimeter that is s that will be uh, that will be nothing but 3x plus 3 right that will be 3x plus 3 and uh, in radius is given to be 4 units so we can just write that 4 is nothing but delta is under root of we know the formula heron's formula right s into s minus a s minus b s minus c so s is nothing but 3 times x plus 1 right s minus a uh, a is 2x plus 1 right so it will be x plus 2 uh, s minus b b is nothing but 2x plus 3 so it will be x c is nothing but 2x plus 2 so that will be x plus 1 right upon semi perimeter semi perimeter comes out to be 3 times x plus 1 all right so clearly as you can see x plus 1 x plus 1 whole square under the root will cancel out with this x plus 1 now squaring uh, both the sides we will get 16 into 9 that will be equal to 3 times x plus 2 into x right so this is nothing but 3 right so x into x plus 2 that is equal to 48 that is a simple quadratic which will give us one positive value and one negative value and we will just keep the positive value that is x equals to 6 right uh, other one will be uh, obviously 6 into 8 is 48 right so now we are being asked to find out the sides of the triangle so the sides of the triangle will be 2x plus 1 2x plus 3 and that will be 2x plus 2 right so that will be nothing but um, 13 uh, 14 and that will be 15 right these will be the sides of the triangle and obviously these are conservative integers right so that's a very easy question of geometry all you need to uh, know is this formula the in radius formula right small r is delta upon s and obviously heron's formula which is very general right so all right these are the two questions from year 1994 uh, question first and question two uh, so that's it from today's session right these both questions are very easy and before ending the session again i'll tell you one thing that i already told in the starting of the session also that uh, if any one of you have cleared pre rmo or rmo we will simply enroll you to rmo or inmo batches respectively all you need to do is just mail me your name class uh, contact number address and proof on this email id chetan.garg at vedantu.com even if you have uh, any other academic achievement you can also mail we will consider your request right So that's it from today's session in the next session we will be discussing next two questions of year 1994 thank you bye bye